Good evening. Welcome to the Daily Office, and thank you for joining me. This is Night Prayer for Saturday, August 27. It's the 14th week after Pentecost, and it's week one in our psalm cycle. The scripture for this service, Psalms 110 and 117, and Acts 11, verse 1 through 18. And now join me in singing verse 5 of part 2 of Psalm 66 by Isaac Watts to the tune of New Britain. But God, your name be ever blessed, has set my spirit free, nor turned away my poor request, nor turned your heart from me. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah, the Most High said to my Master, sit at my right hand. Hallelujah, Psalms 110 and 117. And please recite them with me. Hallelujah, the Most High said to my master, sit at my right hand. I will make your enemies your footstool. God will wield the rod of your strength out of Zion, rule in the midst of your enemies. Your people will offer themselves in the day of your power. In the beauty of holiness, I have begotten you, like dew from the womb of the morning. Our God has sworn and will not repent, you are a priest forever, according to the order of Melchizedek. With God at your right hand, you will smite the rulers in the day of wrath and rule over the nations. And God will judge among the heathen and will heap high the corpses, will smash heads over all the earth. God will drink of the brook by the road with head lifted high. Hallelujah, O oh, praise God most high, all you nations. Praise God, all you peoples, for God's merciful kindness is great toward us, and God's truth endures forever. Praise God, most high, all you nations. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, the most high said to my master, sit at my right hand. Hallelujah. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 11, beginning at verse 1. Now the apostles and the believers who were in Judea heard that the Gentiles had also accepted the word of God. And so when Peter went up to Jerusalem, the circumcised believers criticized him, saying, Why did you go to uncircumcised men and eat with them? And then Peter began to explain it to them step by step, saying, I was in the city of Joppa praying, and in a trance I saw a vision. There was something like a large sheep coming down from heaven, being lowered by its four corners, and it came close to me. And as I looked at it closely, I saw four-footed animals, beasts of prey, reptiles, and birds of the air. And I also heard a voice say to me, Get up, Peter, kill and eat. But I replied, By no means, Lord, for nothing profane or unclean has ever entered my mouth. But a second time the voice answered from heaven, What God has made clean you must not call profane. This happened three times, that everything was pulled up again to heaven. At that very moment three men sent to me, sent to me from Caesarea arrived at the house where we were. The Spirit told me to go with them, and not to make a distinction between them and us. And these six brothers also accompanied me, and we entered the mound's house. He told us how he had seen the angel standing in his house, and saying, Send to Joppa and bring Simon, who is called Peter. He will give you a message by which you and your entire household will be saved. 
And as I began to speak, the Holy Spirit fell upon them, just as it had upon us at the beginning. And I remembered the word of the Lord, how he had said, John baptized with water, but you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. If then God gave them the same gift that he gave us when we believed in the Lord Jesus Christ, who was I that I could hinder God? And when they had heard this, they were silenced, and they praised God, saying, that God has given even to the Gentiles the repentance that leads to life. Here ends the lesson. And now let us pray in the words our Savior taught us. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. We give you thanks, O God, for revealing your Son, Jesus Christ, to us by the light of his resurrection. Grant that as we sing your glory at the close of this day, our joy may abound in the morning as we celebrate the Paschal Mysteries. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bless Jesus, my soul, and may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah.